Hi, and welcome to my art adventure. In this video, I will tip my toes to an entirely new way of using acrylic paints. Enjoy! I finished this dragon sculpture today, finally. I made the base of the dragon last December, so it took me a long time to add these finishing touches. I haven't made any sculpture before, and I was afraid that I will ruin this piece. That's probably the reason why this took so long. <laughs> Luckily the inspiration hit me today when I was painting my dice tower. I had some leftover paints on my palette, so I figured I shouldn't waste my precious resources. So that's why the palette looks like blood bath. I used a lot of red paint on my dice tower. By the way, would you like to see it? The tower, I mean. Anyway, back to the dragon. I used tin foil and iron wire to make the base of the dragon. For the wings I used wire and duct tape. When the base body was done, I used pale dry clay to cover it all. The clay was surprisingly easy to work with. I made slip with mixing clay and water together and with that I added more details, for example the horns and spikes. I also filled any gaps with the slip. Wings were harder to work with the clay and slip. I had to add many layers to the wings to get the result I wanted. I was very pleased to the dragon and my clay craftsmanship. <laughs> However, the next part, painting the piece, was making me anxious. There were so many ways for me to ruin it. I'm getting slowly over the fear of failure. This is my hobby and I deserve to enjoy it. It's not the end of the world if I make some mistakes. It's part of the process. And quite frankly, the painting part was awesome. It was fun to paint and 3D object. The shadows and highlights were easier to create compared to painting on canvas. The most difficult part was painting the eyes. It's so easy to make the dragon look dirty. At the end, I was quite happy with the result. Here's the finished dragon. It has a mighty stand where it can guard the veil. I haven't named it yet. If you have any ideas, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.